Good morning, happy Monday. Starting off a new vlog. I just made a little coffee and a little breakfast. Um, I am just going to get some work done. I'm in the office room today, um, briefly. I have a call in a couple hours, and it's kicking off my new client that I signed yesterday. So it's gonna be very exciting to kick this off. So I'm basically, I'm, I'm working on stuff, you know? And keeping it very simple. A rice cake with some cream cheese and some eggs with sriracha, as per usual. Uh, I'm gonna finish some posts for a real estate agent client and then um, I'm gonna message a client and I need to get an item in her shop for her. Ideally, I need to start writing um, a client's calendar today. We'll see what she sends over to me, but yeah, so far so good. Just enjoying a low key day. I basically write off a portion of this for my business taxes. So my accountant would like, um, I think the form was like showing the interest paid on the loan in 2021. What are your financial goals? Yeah. Um, and then in terms of like with investment related products or services, Still yeah. Young, and so I mean, I, I commend you for. I mean, even just jumping on it as at this point. You know. There's like an EDM remix of Hips Don't Lie happening behind us right now. Hello, good morning, happy Tuesday. Um, I have to run into Target and get a few things. Um, Miss Kenzie, my team member, is down with COVID and she's okay, like all things considered, but um, she's experiencing like some vertigo and just not fun symptoms and she's all alone because she's had to quarantine obviously. I wanna bring her something that will cheer her up. So we're thinking like some bath bombs, some fuzzy socks, and then we have a plan to get her her favorite ice cream and her favorite Italian dish from a local place here. Um, but I need confirmation of when we can go to her house. So we'll do that later, obviously, like on our way. And I'm just gonna run into Target because we are up at the ass crack of dawn, 7.45. Uh, it's like about 8, 8.40 now. Um, we just drove my car into the shop. It's my turn now. Fingers crossed we don't have a $5,000 repair. Um, I think I'll be fine, but I am so exhausted. We stayed up a bit and I did not sleep well. So, we're gonna go back to bed, um, but yeah, mm -hmm. that's what we're doing. We're right next to Target, so I said, why not? All right, we scored lots of good stuff. <sighs> the first thing is this Threshold Heated Plush. I think she's really gonna like it. Very cozy, and then it has like the six heat settings. I thought that was really nice. Target actually had COVID tests. I did not expect them to have tests on them, but this lady was like looking at the end cap aisle and then the far, like the girl who was working in the pharmacist was like, they're right here, it's limit to five. And I was like, that is COVID test language. So I like went around and there's like an entire shelf of them and they're singles, they're like the cheap ones, they're like $7.99, the little flow whatever, flow flex. So I was like, okay, they're only like eight bucks. I'm just gonna throw a couple in for Kenzie because I know like we are both anxious little children and when we have a communicable disease, is that what it's classified as? Sure. Um, we like to know and we like to protect other people. So I figured I'd get her a couple, keep a couple at our place. I only got four because I was like, I don't need to be extra. I got lots of goodies. Um, I got these bear paw uh, thermal insulated crew socks. I thought she could enjoy these with her blanket. Jess's idea, we're doing this together as like a team, I guess. So like the other part of FFM. She wanted me to get these Dr. Teal's like Epsom salt bath bombs. Um, we're not sure if Kenzie takes baths or has like a bathtub, but this is a nice thought. <laughs> so we wanted to get her these. And then Jess also had the idea, not knowing that there's a triggering story behind this, um, to get her some 
little vibe juice shots, which I thought was really funny because the only time Kenzie's really done like a ginger shot was the one that we got from a local juice bar. Throw back to that clip in the vlog and she's like deceasing because it was so, so gingery. It like burnt our stomachs going down. Is it horrible? Oh, wow. Okay. Am I going to throw up? Like that's the real question. Is it that bad? That is a lot of cayenne. I'm even, like lying to you right now. Holy fuck. <laughs> oh my <laughs> god. No way you could drink that. I know. I literally had no idea it was going to be like that bad. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I like tasted it. A little bit went in my throat and it burned. And I was like, fuck. And so I couldn't swallow it. And then it was all in my mouth. And it was just burning my mouth. And I was like, what is in this? Poison? Cayenne? <laughs> There's no way this is safe to drink. <laughs> So she's gonna be so triggered and I think it's kind of funny. So like it'll help her but it's also like these are way sweeter and she'll like these a lot better. But I think it's funny so I was like yes we have to. And then I did message her sister and like learned about like what she needs, what she likes. Sister told me that she loves anything chocolate. Um, I love the Justin's milk chocolate peanut butter cups and the skinny dipped almonds little super dark sea salt. I don't know if she likes milk or dark, so we're just gonna go with that. We also got her a couple medicines. Um, the gal who was working there, I was like, I don't know if you work in the pharmacy, because she was just stocking things. So I was like, but have you heard of like what medicine is best for COVID? I had heard Tylenol is, so I figured I'd get her Tylenol. This is the extra strength, so hopefully that will be good for like any pains she's having, fever reducer. The gal was like, <laughs> Me and my entire house actually had COVID a couple weeks ago and I was like, iconic. And she was like, we lived off of Mucinex and Kenzie's been having like some congestion. I thought this would be iconic. And then just the test. And then I got this cute little basket to put everything in by Hearth and Hand with Magnolia. Um, $12.99 for this little basket. Thought it was very, very cute. Anyway, we're gonna go home, relax, get some more sleep. All right, final reveal of the gift. We actually decided to head out now because she is awake um, and she is not hungry. She's having some heartburn, so I'm not gonna get her the pasta or the ice cream that I had planned, but I think this is a cute little care package. We also had an unopened travel size Tums, so I had Jared run up and go grab that. Um, but I got this and then the plush throw. I think she's really gonna love it. This is a very, very easy gift um, for a friend who has COVID or who's just sick in general, needs a little cheering up. All right, it is lunchtime and I'm prepping the farro salad from Sunbasket. Very, very excited. It's just been kind of like a crazy start of our week, so I haven't really gotten around to using one yet. Um, it also got delivered so late last night that <laughs> we would have been eating at like 10 p.m. So anyway, I got the Faro started here. Um, news, my car is great. Thank God we don't have two lemon cars in this family. Um, but there's something that I need to get looked at, potentially the dealership, like maybe something with like the computer system in the car. So anyway, fun stuff. I need to chop all of these little veggies and put them on the sheet pan, get them into the oven. We're about halfway warmed up here. And then we're going to, I guess this is like a panko pumpkin breadcrumb thing. And we're going to toast it in the pan. So very, very excited. Looks like this is boiling. So we're going to bring it down to a simmer. And then she's going to cook for probably like 12 minutes. I don't know how I want to do these like sweet vinaigrette base chilies. We'll see how I do. And usually we do like pretty big chunks. So you just kind of put it on the pan. So yeah, my car is doing great. Um, there's something weird with like the gas pedal. Like it's just not accelerating like with ease and I've had this problem for probably like nine months um ever since we got back from like Utah maybe like six months I guess yeah a little bit before that um 
So I had them look at it one time and the guy was like, mm, I didn't feel it. So I don't know if it was like just starting to happen then and like it would happen on an off chance, but like every time I drove it, it happened. So I don't know, but um, the guy last time was like, no, I don't notice anything. And it just kept happening. And then we went to uh, um, Ellensburg to visit friends. I was like, hmm, Jared was driving it. And he was like, yeah, there's something like off for sure. When he said that, I was like, oh shit, there's definitely something wrong with it. So I told him again. And then he was like, yeah, I love the Lakota squash. I grew up eating a lot of different squashes because it's an easy like veggie alternative um, to like, even like Thanksgiving dinner, we do like a stuffed squash. Beautiful sheet pan of veggies. Okay, so I'm toasting up the chili with the panko and this little like pumpkin seed situation. Looks real good. The farro looks beautiful. Farro, however you say it. <laughs> we got about 15 minutes on the oven. So I'm gonna make the vinaigrette thing next. I already had a casualty. I burnt this little finger, little orange dressing. You basically just chopped up the orange and then added this like vinaigrette to it. And then you put the bed of kale with olive oil and salt and pepper, and then some farro. And then we're gonna put the veggies on top. And then we sprinkle our beautiful little crusted panko topping on top. So excited to try this. Okay, y'all, I just have to show you this. This is my new little shower caddy. Um, I just wanted something that could hold like all of my stuff instead of having it like on the ledges here. I just think this is cuter. It's at like my eyesight height. It's just easy to grab stuff. Um, and I was able to get some things that I don't usually include in the shower. Um, got a new loofah, a little shaving cream, my little razor, and my Kevin Murphy shampoo and conditioner. This is my favorite like body soap, Dr. Bronner's. And then I've got other stuff. And I have some stuff in this little situation that I need to go through. I think this is good. This looks about right. And then I might just put, I don't know. I usually just hang it here, honestly. That's fine. Usually it's just these suctions and then as you like suction it, you can like tighten it. You just have to make sure the suction's like to the wall. Um, but I'm obsessed with this. I really love it. So hopefully this will stick and <laughs> will stay suctioned. Um, it's really tight and then it's also not going to get wet over here. So hopefully I set it up correctly. Later on in the evening, I just took a lovely shower with my new little caddy. Um, I think I set it up successfully. It hasn't fallen off the wall yet, so <laughs> fingers crossed. Um, it was so nice. I did my little like body exfoliating scrub. I just like don't do it as often as I should. I wash all the nooks and crannies. I wash my hair. I get it done, but really taking my time and like. I usually shave like with the bathtub running, if that makes sense. Like I don't shave in the shower um, because it's just so uncomfortable. Like, I don't know why. Just something about like having everything in a central place just makes me feel better. Um, I also hate, my skin gets really itchy and like red from the shower and like when my hair is in my face. So I don't tend to like wash my hair and like shave and everything. So I think we're making progress in my adulthood. Um, and I'm finding a good situation that works for everybody. Um, so that was lovely. And I have a little bit of work to do. Today's just been like really lazy. I've been really tired. I didn't sleep well. And then we got up early to put my car in the shop. Um, so I'm just going to like, I think spend some time for my business tonight and start to prep February posts for my content. Um, I also have a blog post I need to publish um, that I kind of already wrote thankfully uh past me was very prepared and like took some bullet point like paragraphs and stuff um for all of the points like in the blog post bless up for that um i have mapped out what i need for my photo shoot um unfortunately my photographer her family uh not all of them i don't think but their household has covid so we are postponing um, and she's like super safe. She's great. She's vaxxed all of the above um, and she has like a doctor friend and she's been able to like um, be really safe about it and like know a lot of the science. So um, very excited to be on the same page um, and see her soon. But 
yeah definitely a little wrench in our plans but it gives me a bit more time to like go through my blog posts and upcoming holidays for social media posts and everything um i'm also going to go through my closet at some point this week uh maybe order some more clothes but i think just like look through like pants that i haven't worn in a while like um dress pants and like the palazzo pant type things to see like what fits me maybe go through like some of my skirts and like make outfits of things i already have so that's also on the agenda but so far so good everything is going well so i'm just going to buckle down and get some work done all right y'all i told you last week that i would show you when we make our ramen and we're having a little late night snack right now so i figured why not just put it on now um so jared lovingly laid out everything we need you're gonna need tamari uh you can do soy sauce but like we just prefer tamari I think that's the same thing. It's just like gluten-free um, and it's less sodium. So we use that um, and then we use butter, just like the, I think it's salted. Yeah, salted butter from Trader Joe's, like whatever. Um, and then brown sugar, whatever brand you wanna do. And then we love topping ours with fresh green onions. So that's definitely like optional. You don't have to have that. That's not part of the sauce, but um, that's nice. And then garlic cloves, fresh garlic. I explained last week, um, we just get the top ramen. I don't know how you pronounce that. Nissen, Nissen, I don't know. Um, that brand, the original top ramen. Um, we usually get the soy sauce flavor, but it really doesn't matter because we're not using any of the package. So you're literally gonna take the chunk of noodles out of here <laughs> and then you can either save the package for another time or just delete it from your life because these are so cheap. Like how expensive are they? Like 59 cents. 59 cents, it doesn't even matter. You have to go to the store though because they'll upcharge you online. Oh, they upcharge you online apparently. Okay, so you'll wanna like get them. We get them at Safeway um, or like our local grocery store. So definitely get these. They're so cheap though that I don't feel bad about discarding a tiny flavor packet. Um, also kind of like what makes this healthier, I guess you could say, um, is because there's like a ton of sodium. It like cuts it down by half. I looked at like the, the tamari here. So like 710 milligrams of sodium in a tablespoon. We use a tablespoon per person. And when you look at the back of this, um, this is per half of a packet, which usually one person eats a packet. Um, there is the same amount, but double if you were to eat the whole thing. There's like 1,600 milligrams of sodium. So I would rather, <laughs> have the 710 instead of the 790 or the 1600. So um, basically the sodium comes from the packet, I assume. They're not putting sodium on the noodles. So I also like to use this little thing, uh, furikake, norikomi, I don't know. It's a Japanese multi-purpose seasoning. White sesame seeds, black sesame seeds, nori black seaweed, salt, and kelp powder. Um, and I just put on like a little bit of it on top along with the green onion. So yummy. We also sometimes add some sriracha, um, kind of however you want to dress it up. This is about how much water you want in like the perfect pot. And literally it takes like 10 minutes to make. It's super, super easy. Um, the noodles cook for a few minutes, the sauce cooks for a few minutes, and basically your goal is to get it like nice and thick. All right, so you don't have to put them in all together. You can let the butter like melt first. But anyway, what you need, we did enough for double because we're using two different packs. So it'll basically equal out to about both of us getting half of this. So for one person, you want one tablespoon of butter, one tablespoon of tamari, one tablespoon of brown sugar. It is super, super easy to remember. Um, so we doubled it. So this is two tablespoons of all of that. And we will add in some fresh garlic. We like to do like three to four cloves. We like a lot of garlic. Um, I'd probably put in two gigantic cloves if I was just doing it for myself. Um, so however much you want of fresh garlic. It just adds such a nice touch to it. Okay, this is how you do it. You see that little seasoning packet in there? We're just gonna throw all that away. You only need the block of noodles. 
And then I just started this. It's gonna warm up. Once it kind of gets to a little bit more of a rolling boil, you just plop it in. Uh, we do two at the same time. Jared's coming in hot with the garlic. And then once it's like kind of soaked up some water, we go in with like a little spatula and break it up a little bit. Um, this is what the sauce should look like, by the way. Like that's the consistency you want. Definitely thicker, like a paste versus a sauce. Um, so we put them in these just to have a little cute aesthetic moment. So that is what it looks like. It looks like it's not gonna be enough sauce, but we just kind of keep coating it. You have and to it, stir it so much. Yeah, it definitely is enough. So do not let it fool you. It's quite a rich sauce, so you don't need a lot of it. I promise this will be enough for y'all. So yeah, like I said, just double it if you have two people and just do one packet and one tablespoon of everything if you have just you. I do like that, depends on how spicy you want yours. And then I, I rub mine in, so. And then I do my green onions on top. Look at how beautiful that is. Literally 10 minutes, less than that. Good morning, happy Wednesday. Um, I have Lauren coming over, finally, for the first time in like, I don't even know, a month and a half, I think, is the last time like I actually had her over or like we did something together. Um, it was like early December, so it feels so good to have a girl's night. She is gonna stay the night. We're going to cook um, her famous chili. I wanted to start my day. I need to look into things for my photo shoot eventually um, and I just kind of wanted to see what still works for me in my closet in terms of like pants I haven't like tried on in a while um, so I'm going to do that and then try to make like outfits obviously I'll make today's outfit um, because we're gonna go to Starbucks and there's this new adorable little ice cream shop that opened up around here so um, lots of things like popping off we're gonna stop by there and just reward ourselves after um, and we'll just like co-work and get a lot of things done so before that I want to just go through my closet and see what's going on okay these definitely work um, I remembered what's wrong with these. <laughs> um, these pairs need to be hemmed. They're just too long on the feet. Um, and my mom is a sewer. <laughs> um, so usually I just like, I'm like, mom, can you please do this? Um, so I'll probably take these over this weekend um, and just leave them with her. Hi, welcome back to our channel. <laughs> Wow, this is weird. We're like coming from all the I angles. I hate how this is all like weird, but whatever. Oh, friend does the same thing. Okay, okay, there's that. Okay, so let's do a little mise en place before, I don't even know which camera to look at. Before you cook, you want to mise en place, which is here to make in advance or whatever. I don't know, fancy French words, but yes, basically you prep your ingredients. So that's everything. How this is the onion. cutest thing in the whole world. <laughs> These are the things that excite you at 28 almost. Oh God. I did pregame this adventure by listening to Alaska, so you know oh it's going to be fun. Oh my god, I thought you might take a shot. No. But honestly, yeah. Oh my god! Go we have blood oranges. We can make I know, I was thinking thing. about that yesterday, okay, but well, I didn't want to come it. off as an alcoholic. No, it's fine. <laughs> but we just know to. that that crossed my mind yesterday evening. And now... <laughs> <laughs> just cooking it up. Gotta add some salt pepper in a few. It looks and so yummy. It smells good. We're going to quarter. Ooh, fancy. And then we've got all this stuff too. Yeah, she already showed her mushrooms. So just chop it in half. Do you want me to just put these chop in? Chop it. Yes. Be okay. Lovely. Cool. Chop it in half. Chop it in half. Bada bing, bada boom. Okay. And then our mushrooms. Give it a couple stirry worries. I had never used this before. I told Lauren, I was like, "What is this like tube life?" Um, all of this stuff is from Trader Joe's. Yep. We are what some call Trader Joe's. Yep. No shame. I always look at the Trader Joe's list, like all the Instagram oh, I love handles. when the frequent flyer thing comes out. <laughs> it's looking great. It's in the crock pot. It's Took cooking all away. Of, what, 10 minutes of that? Yeah, easy. literally. Love easy food like that. We were like, we need to get this going before we head out. We're headed off to Starbucks. We're gonna get a ton of work done. Um, I'm storying today. We're doing all of the things. So excited. Okay, Lolo brought over the perfume of my life. 
Floriental Vanilla from Dossier. And oh my god, is it beautiful. It's a winner with the man of the house. So, <laughs> I knew I had to get it. <laughs> so the Wi-Fi is down. we're home we got humble cow ice cream it's a little like local shop here and I'm obsessed the owner is so nice the place is so cute and uh, we're back at home because there was no Wi-Fi oh my god y'all we're dishing up our chili mm. Delicious. I'm so excited how y'all masterpiece okay let's see mm-hmm on acid but I feel oh, like I am the evil heart the elements be elementing oh most certainly it's an experience it's a lot and we watched the exorcist one yeah it was nothing like this it was like realistic ish you know like what would happen if a girl got possessed by a demon this, this is, like, is like I cannot follow along. I'm so the confused. Insect the species and, and the weather the and locusts and came to play. How it's not even realistic. How would she get her out of the fire that was fully engulfing her? Exactly. And stop her from continuing to crisp. I'm not a firefighter. I don't have the training. <laughs> this is bad. But station 19 has taught me enough. I can't even describe my experience. <laughs> And this is coming from Lauren and Catherine who have enough words to write a novel in times three. I don't <laughs> yeah, I don't know. That was a lot of energy. They were vastly different films. Oh, a hundred percent. I feel I like trust these now. people were definitely on drugs. Like for Maybe. sure. You can't be in sober mind to do that. We went to Safeway. We got some snacks. We got, um, I got Brie and she got a little French herb goat cheese and we got a whole ass French baguette. Cocktail Lauren is here. So we're going to start off with some ice cubes into a wine glass because a cold drink is a good drink in my humble opinion. It should make your insides warm, but your tongue cold. Yeah. I'll have a lot, yep. Oh, well, actually, let's wait till we... I got blood oranges at Trader Joe's. Cute. Which was, like, quite a find because I was not expecting that. Love that. Love that. Satisfy Ooh. That wow. Looks like death. We're going to watch the film Get Out, which is a common theme in my household. Oh, um, my God. I'm gonna use this Nate's Nature Honeyco honey, and I'm just gonna drizzle it on top of the brie. Beautiful. It's coming up a lot like lighter on camera, but kind of looks like apple spray. There you go. Good morning. <laughs> we have breakfast prepared by me, the chef who put the toaster strudel in the toaster. <laughs> And then fried up some hash browns and eggs. Is like Mongols this yeah. Morning. She said, I'm gonna make you breakfast. I said, all right, let's go. Do we like 10 minutes? Yeah, it was so fast. I barely had time to pee. Yep. <laughs> then I made a little cold brew for myself. I served the man's just like a mom would. And now we're chilling on the couch. We never told them about Get Out oh, last God. night. It was so iconic. Oh, I get it a. Two of these, two whole hands of fluff. Yeah, thousand percent. It was so good. I was good. gagged, I was gutted, I was gooted, I was skid out. I don't even know what I'm trying to there say. There was a lot going on, and like, you might know the gist, you don't know what's gonna come next. I was shook it. 
Like, it is the most twisted shit I've ever seen, and it was so good. So now we have to watch Us, his other movie, and now he has another one called Nope that's coming out this summer. There's a lot nope. going on. That's me. Right. I need you to grab your toaster strudel and taste test it in front of the camera. Has your life been changed? Well, let me tell you. <laughs> That's the best shit in the whole world. Uh -huh. Right after we get out. <laughs> it's those two. Wowza, friends. Okay, I'm here. Um, Lauren has gone bye-bye. She's leaving. She has some stuff to get done. Um, we got a ton of work done. We watched Silence of the Lambs. Um, it was not scary. Like, I guess, like, it's disturbing. Like, in the concept, I get it. Um, it's also, like, hella transphobic, but, like, go off. Um, and, like, Buffalo Bill's definitely a trans woman. Like, okay. So that's great. I've also attended um, during Pride, Seattle Pride digitally last year. They had a whole panel of speakers that were talking about horror movies. A lot of them were trans. Um, and so like, I got a kind of like an inside look, I guess, into that. Um, things that like was cool to know, like never having seen it before, like before I saw it. It wasn't like scary and I guess I'm just like damaged like I watch a lot of like you know ghost shows and a lot of like true crime like serial killer documentaries so I guess if like you know like about the sickos like in our world it's not like that out of the box of possibility um and for some reason like every time I was told about this I thought there was like an animal cruelty undertone that like basically like they started on lambs and then went to women. I mean, I don't know why I thought that, but like I thought I was gonna see like slaughtered animals and it completely was not that. So I don't really know, like, I guess I don't get like the hype. I guess for like that time period, it could have been scary, but like the blood is super fake. Like, I don't know, it just isn't like, whoa, scary. Um, I still think for me, like slashers and like serial killer stuff doesn't scare me it's like the possessions the ghosts the hauntings that's really like the jump scares that like really get me um it's really like not that bad y'all like a ton of the like classic horror movies are really not that scary so i would encourage you if you are like a self-proclaimed scaredy cat like me just to give it a try um because it really isn't <laughs> Like that scary um and it is quite the trip like i said i feel like i'm on drugs when i'm not so um it's just like good entertainment i guess so i recommend it like obviously it's a classic you have to see it my next task obviously i need to see more jordan peele because i love to get out i think i'm gonna watch it again um because jared hasn't seen it so we're gonna watch it tonight i think my next task is to see the two contemporary exorcist movies i'm gonna start with the beginning it's like 2004 so it's like newer and it's supposedly the prequel this one is um so it's like father Marin and like his original encounters with the devil i feel like i need to see like a more contemporary take on it and maybe like it's going to be scarier i don't know we will see it has like four and a half out of five stars on amazon prime so hopefully this is not a waste of my money but we'll update you later hello friends happy friday i am headed off to get my nails done um i have i think a really cute look that i want to do um it's going to be during my photo shoot time so i'm going to do a green um a cute little look maybe some little swirls and then just solid for the rest um keeping it simple i got out early so I could defrost my car in peace and I got a deposit sent in so I just kind of reconciled my account so we're very productive today um, I'm gonna go get my nails done and then I'm gonna head home I have some work to get done and then tonight um, I need to head off to uh, the wine bar and the martini lounge my two clients we need to get some photos done so that is what's on the agenda. Hello friends, um, it is later on. I'm about to go into the wine bar to begin my little evening. But I got a bagel sandwich, which looks effing incredible. It's my first time trying their bagel sandwiches. They're so like a new little like drive through like mom and pop cafe situation. Oh my God, it looks so good. So I got 
lettuce, tomato, cheddar cheese, and cream cheese on an everything bagel. OMG. Mmm. I watched um, Annabelle, the creation, and Annabelle comes home today. Two of the Conjuring movies. I'm not gonna lie, it wasn't that scary. It wasn't that well done, in my opinion. Just because I've seen Conjuring 1, 2, and The Nun. Personally, The Nun's my favorite. Then Conjuring 2 with The Nun. And then Conjuring 1. Then I would rank Annabelle. Probably Creation. I liked the storyline better. And I liked more, I guess, of like the jump scares. Um, I was kind of bored with Comes Home. I was really excited because I love um, Vera and that guy. Oh my god, I'm blanking on his name. Patrick and Vera. So, like, I really like their acting. I don't know. It just kind of sucked because, like, that's what I was looking forward to. Am I, like, in a bad situation? Yeah. Anyway, that's what I was looking forward to, so. It definitely, like, wasn't ideal, and they were, like, barely in the movie. So, oh well. A 2004 Exorcist chef's kiss that was actually fire i really liked it apparently i watched um there's like two prequel stories with father Marin, and i guess i watched the critics least favorite the beginning dominion is basically the same like thing only it's like reworked it's like the same story it's reworked by like a different director or something um i guess because the critics slashed <laughs> the fucking first one they were like oh my god we gotta redo it um, just because like the exorcist is such like a classic in horror films I think so that's probably why they wanted like I guess a better alternative I thought that the 2004 one was better than any of the movies personally I don't know maybe I'm just here for more of like the contemporary like effects and stuff I'm not really a big fan of like a weird looking old girl who like spits out green vomit like I don't know it's just not very scary to me I appreciate it for like what it is at that time um, but I definitely am looking for more like the nun level um, like special effects makeup um, that sort of thing so I don't know wasn't ideal and then I also have watched more films I watched Knives Out finally last night a plus plus loved it so much um, and then I also watched Searching, which is the movie with John Cho, where like his daughter goes missing and he has to figure it out. It's not horror, it's just like suspense, but I really loved it. And what's really funny is I'm noticing that now I'm like picking up on like plots. So like I'll watch it and the bad guy like won't even be noticeable and I'll like figure it out like within minutes of watching it which is kind of what Jared can do um, just because he's more of a movie buff than I am and so it's very funny to start seeing that like I'm picking up on things now which like I love but also like I don't know I loved watching all these films I'm in a very movie mood so anyway I would recommend watching all of them except for The Exorcist 2 I just don't fucking understand what was going on there it's just not anyone's finest work to be honest hello friends happy sunday i had a lovely day yesterday i just use the time to get work done hang out with my parents um just kiki have a low-key day right now i'm headed off to go get brunch with mandy and we actually have our christmas stuff that we need to do um so we're starting with beignets aka <laughs> okay, i think an entire package of sugar <laughs> Am I doing it right? I can't, it looks so bad. We got our eggs benedict. What is your rating? Have you tried the shrimp? I did. It's good flavor. I don't know that I love it with eggs. Okay. That's fair. It's, it's very good, experimental. It's, yeah. Creole it's shrimp. I to try something. Yeah. And then I just did the little veggie. Yummy. Gift time. Yours looks like I'm getting a diploma. <laughs> da 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 da. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, thank you. Which one? First. Uh, that. This. Okay, you have. I think you have a card in there too. Should I open it at the same time as you? 
sure. Yeah, we can read. You always leave the most thoughtful messages in the cards. <laughs> oh yes, there's another long one. I tried to do. I tried to do it. Like, <laughs> Thank you for being a friend. Merry whatever. Yeah, merry happy whatever. I love that. Merry Christmas, happy Hanukkah. You know, uh, all the covering things. Covering all the things. <gasps> what? A double date? Shut up. Oh my god, bitch, you did not have to. Mine are like cute little gifts. You have it's to get a whole... Look, it's okay. It's good. Oh my god. Oh my god. I tried to get these and they were sold out. Shut up. <laughs> I'm going to Margaret Cho. Woo! I've only seen her once before. I've never she's seen her. fucking amazing. And I a whole night of it. Shut the whole up. Thing. And we can just oh, we can go together. Yeah. Thank you, friend. Awesome. I love her. She's like one of my favorites. Yeah. I've seen like some of her specials and stuff, but I've never seen her live, so oh, I'm really she's excited. So fucking good. I... Little Lush product. <laughs> Hopefully. I could smell it as Hopefully soon as like the it. tissue paper came up. Mmm. <laughs> I'm so proud of this. This is my favorite gift. Of like every the whole, day. The whole Christmas season. The one where Mandy needs more coffee. It's a custom friends mug. Oh or my like god. Glass. And I love these glasses too. Yeah, so I really like nice. that it's a glass rather than a mug. This is a foot mask. So then this you could put on if you wanted to really like Oh my gosh. Live I mean, your life. Such a nice self-care evening. Yeah. I've never done an eye mask before. They're real nice. Also, I just learned recently because all the vloggers and me put them on wrong. We put the largest piece outward. We put the little, like, the little teardrop, like how it's like, looks like this. Yeah. And apparently you're supposed to put the large piece here and have the teardrop aligned with the out of your eye. I did not know that. That kind of makes sense because this is the part that gets the most, like, puffy for me. Yeah, I, I just did not, like, logically think about that. When I lived in Hawaii, every day when I walked to work, I would pass by like the little Lush shop that was like right on Front Street, and it was oh. like, first of all, very intense smell, like oh my God, right when yeah, you walk by. Lot. But I used to go there all the time and get oh little. Oh my God! So it's like sentimental too. Oh, I'm so happy. Jared is modeling. <laughs> he started putting things away. Um, we just got some veggies. We got <laughs> the Instagram husband or whatever. Um. That's what we do. We just cram everything in there. It's fine. Um, I picked up some more cheese at Duo. That's like our favorite lately. Also got some little mandarins. I was feeling like I should just like shake it up because we've had blood oranges for a while. Got some printer paper for our new printer, finally. And then just kind of the usual, and I finally, you guys, picked up the brie cheese that I have been dreaming of. Had a lot of like hits or misses, lots of misses. So this is a hit, I already know. Very, very excited. Put my little honey on there. Uh, we got some more garlic because we've been using the fresh garlic in our ramen, as you saw. I also picked up this, which we had last fall, and it was bomb.com. It has like little dumplings in it. Um, picked up another little mix of little snackies. We still have some left over here. And then I got us some more ramen. Um, lots of goodies here. Ramen really is like my cheat that's like keeping me alive because I am just, I, there's a lot of, salads and recipes that are coming up that are just very very healthy so anyway this is what we got very very small haul some more lemons sourdough avocados milk kind of the usual stuff um, but that's basically it. I'm going to wrap up the vlog here. Um, I had a, an amazing week, fun filled, lots of recipes, lots of things I could show ya. I hope that was fun. Um, very much looking forward to the next week because I actually do have a drag show that we're going to. Um, it was not moved or canceled um, due to COVID, so we're just gonna take all the possible precautions we can, um, wear our N95s. It is like a vaxxed or negative test event, so. Like everything, like Jared working, we are always exposed and run the risk of getting it. Um, it'll be a little glimmer of excitement in our week, so I'm very, very excited to take you along. Um, and otherwise, we just have like a pretty low-key work week. We'll just do some content prep. It's obviously the first on Tuesday, so we've got lots of content for clients to schedule, our own content to schedule, um, and lots of stuff. So excited to take you along for the new week, and I will see you guys in a little bit. Bye.